We are going to talk about Arizona, which is a state. And of course, before it was even a state, there was a law in Arizona. And now that Arizona is a state, they're using said law to ban nearly all abortions after this one rare, unique court ruling. It seems like the Arizona state is trying desperately to ensure a W, a fat W for the Democratic Party. Let's take a look. CNN Breaking News. And this is big breaking news just into CNN. The Arizona Supreme Court just issued a major ruling on the future of abortion access in that state. And CNN's Natasha Chen is going through the court's opinion right now. Natasha, walk us through this ruling. The bottom line here is that Arizona must adhere to a an abortion ban, nearly all abortions banned except in the case of saving the life of the mother. And this law dates back to the Civil War before Arizona was even a state. There has been a lot of confusion back and forth in Arizona on which state law applies here because right before Roe versus Wade was overturned, the state had instituted a 15 week abortion ban. So there had been pauses to abortions in the state and then res resumption of that then pause again, all in hopes that the state Supreme Court could offer some clarity here. And today, this is what the court has said, that the state must adhere to this 123 year old law banning near all abortions. Now, the text of that law says that there is also a punishment for providers of the abortion uh, between two and five years in prison. The important things huh. to note here so far that yeah, we, we should just start killing women for even thinking about having abortions. F it cut out the middleman who dude is great, great stuff overall. F it you know, we love we love life so much. You don't understand, okay? The life of an unborn child is sacred, which is why the woman carrying the fetus takes an L in that situation, okay? It's like, oh, you lip cards love abortion so much. How about we give you an abortion? Light term abortion for trying to have an abortion to begin with. Is this one of those laws that view women as a man's property? I mean, pfft, maybe <laughs> this is insane. This is we we do not have a normal country. I've been saying we don't have a normal country, but this is like this is beyond abnormality i feel like i feel like these people like people that have these ideas should go to prison for wrong thing i think like people that are like this seems like a good idea should be at the very least like put into re-education school or something like to we should study their brains and try to comprehend how you can live in 2024 in the modern era where we have access to internet we have access to so much information right in front of us and they still think like no we should do this because god told me to oh non-dc liberal dems could so easily snatch the trajectory of this country back if they weren't if it weren't so goddamn democrat party purposely standing in his way i i agree i mean it's wild bro it is wild it's like first of all this would be like reorienting a law that that says you can enslave a black person by utilizing a law from that time when black people were not seen as people but property you know what i mean which i hate to put that out in the ether because i feel like that's where we're moving in the direction of where republicans are going to be like yeah actually that's not a good idea hey hey sh write that down <laughs> what did he say write that sh down dude Sounds good to me, brother. What? This isn't as dumb as courts interpreting obscenity as applying to abortions. The law is explicitly but stupid. There's a ballot initiative that already has the required signatures will almost certainly pass in November. I know it's not going to be. Here's the thing. This is not going to pass. This is not going to be implemented because the reality is that the uh, Arizona attorney general has already come out and said that uh, she will not enforce the state's abortion ban this immediately got enough signatures and it will be on the ballot uh uh in the upcoming election so this is going to be a major f benefit to the democratic party as far as like drawing out new elections i mean uh, drawing out new voters to go out in the f ballots people are going to be motivated for me however i'm not thinking about that that's the good stuff and obviously that's fine and that's great and i'm glad that it's happening but for me there's something beyond this there's a deep illness there is a deep illness in the minds of some americans the notion the very notion that this is like even permissible for you 
the notion that you can be a person in a position of power and say like, actually, this is great. Let's do it. That is terrifying to me because it's terrifying for a multitude of different reasons. But one of them is like, these people don't have self-preservation in mind, right? Obviously I've moved beyond the notion that they care about women as human beings and like, don't want to harm them because they very clearly do. This is their policy, right? The entire purpose of bans like this are to simply harm women, to stop them from getting access to medical care that is easily afforded and, and you know, given to people. It would be akin to saying, I don't like, I don't f with fat people, no more insulin, dog. I don't think the constitution should uh, allow people to get insulin if they have diabetes. Like, it's just like, why, what do you mean? That's a, a psychotic thing. This decision should not be left up to you, nor Jesus. This decision should be left up to the medical professional. So you can moralize around it as they did with abortion and then have the underlying arguments kind of make sense, I guess. But ultimately that is what's going on, right? In practice, the abortion ban is simply to be like, if you f***ed, you got to and be punished with a pregnancy. Sorry, sucks to suck. You shouldn't have f out of wedlock. And when you do f in wedlock, you should carry that pregnancy to term. Doesn't f matter. That's basically the underlying motivation behind it, right? And same with if you're raped, same with if you're a victim of, of pedophilic incestuous rape. Doesn't matter. A life is a life. Sucks to suck, right? God is punishing you. That is usually the underlying motivation here. So we've already decided. We already know why people want this to, to go through, right? Like we get that. But how do you not have any interest in self-preservation in, in your overarching project? How do you not recognize that this is like making you look insane? Are you that lost in your own sauce? Is that what happened? This is something I've been thinking about quite a bit. And I think some of these people genuinely are. 4824, the day before the Arizona Supreme Court decides if a near total abortion ban is passed, in 1864 goes back into effect anti-abortion extremists pray in tongues on senate floor led by january sixer and fake elector senator anthony kern no i i really do think these people need re-education camps I, i'll stand on that I do. I legitimately do. Anyone who thinks like Hassan, you're a f commie. You want to punish people for wrong think? Shut the f up. These people literally need help. They need state sponsored education camps, okay? They need to be forcibly clawed back from the collective psychosis that they are engaged in. I'm sorry. If I'm fucking president, I am literally doing that, okay? Re education camp. No way out of it. All those f lip tars that were like oh i can't believe you're saying this is on oh my god like what do we do with this what do you do with this what do you do with this how do you deal with this you can't you cannot deal with this that's nuts bro oh my god dude what is going on dude these are people in power okay these are not like random toms dicks and harry's okay these are people in power i just i don't get it i don't know i don't know how to do what to do with this Oh my God, these people are so fucking insane. Anyway, here's the attorney general uh, saving the day a little bit. This decision made by the Arizona Supreme Court today is unconscionable and an affront to freedom. Make no mistake, by effectively striking down a law past this century and replacing it with one from 160 years ago, the court has risked the health and lives of Arizonans. The Arizona Court of Appeals decision, which the Supreme Court has struck down today, was well-reasoned and aligned with how courts harmonize different legislation. Today's decision to reimpose a law from a time when Arizona wasn't a state, the Civil War was raging, and women couldn't even vote will go down in history as a stain on our state. This is far from the end of the debate on reproductive freedom, and I look forward to the people of Arizona having their say in the matter and let me be completely clear as long as i'm attorney general no woman or doctor will be uh, prosecuted under this draconian law in this state the opposite of this happened in kentucky for those of you who are wondering daniel cameron was the attorney general in kentucky and kentucky voted for a ballot initiative to actually defend abortion and that piece of shit, Daniel Cameron who is uh, obviously Mitch McConnell's project decided I don't give a fuck about uh, the ballot initiative I'm still prosecuting people fuck the citizens fuck 
democracy. Just something to remember. This is why I always tell you elections do matter and that you should vote, especially for sh like this, especially down ballot. The least significant part of the election is the mother president. A lot of people think that it's just the president. It starts and ends with the president. No, this stuff is infinitely more important for your lives. Infinitely more important. Person won by like a couple hundred votes. That's why I've been telling you since day one, always vote local, always vote. Always vote for ballot initiatives. Always vote for these people, okay? It's so goddamn important to vote. Never think about it, but this is how, this this is how you, you at least marginally improve your living conditions. You can call me a lib all you want. I don't care like even in oklahoma everywhere everywhere insulin is required for a diabetic to survive a pregnant woman doesn't need an abortion to survive <laughs> wait what <laughs> yes they do in many instances they do hello bro just say you don't understand pussy and move on okay why is it that we have given so much credence to no sex having asses who have the last time they saw a pussy was when they crawled out of their mothers. Why are we having this conversation right now? Why do you feel the need to chirp when you don't know what the f you are talking about? In very rare instances, it's not rare. It's not rare at all. You're wrong, man. You're f wrong. And it's not just health complications that are that arise through ectopic pregnancies. But guess what? You're a f an idiot. You're not a doctor. And that's why you don't know any better. That's why medical professionals do not have this kind of... Uh, setback they don't have these weird takes on the issue you're just a random dumb ass. but because you're an american random dumb ass, someone along the line told you that your stupid opinion matters because unfortunately for all of us for the rest of this country for 75 percent of americans the 25 percent that decided this is a big deal and shouldn't go on is listened to and there was a 50-year project by the federalist society to basically reorient our entire court structure so we would make this thing that is profoundly popular and just not legal in many states oh so much of politics is about yelling at fucking dumbasses who are just like you don't get it this is actually my opinion and i am a special boy and because i came up with this special opinion all on my own you have to take it seriously fuck there are numerous complications surrounding pregnancy pregnancy is a very difficult task to take on and if someone is not ready for it then they should be able to get a safe procedure and 90% of abortions obviously happen in the first trimester. We already know that. And the rest in the second or even in the third trimester, those abortions are always, always due to medical complications. There is no world in which there's not a single fucking state in this nation where you can just get a abortion especially in the last term, in the third trimester, for no reason, okay? You have to provide a medical reason, a psychological reason, but like it needs, it requires the carrier to give a medical profession a valid, a medical professional a valid reason, healthcare-related valid reason. Nobody is carrying a fetus for nine months. No, stop saying actually there is. This is not true. This is a Republican right wing framed bullshit counter argument for an issue that does not exist in the real world. This, of course, also brings up another problem. Studies have been conducted on this matter as well. Criminalizing abortions does not make abortions rare because ultimately, whether an abortion, whether a pregnancy is is carried the term or terminated is still up to the carrier. So you know what that does? Criminalizing abortions don't actually make abortions rare. It just makes abortions. It just continues to, women still continue to have miscarriages. They just have back alley abortions. That's it. And back alley abortions lead to 1 million plus permanent medical complications, which, you know, if you want women to have more children by force, you're gonna not like this part, which lead to permanent damage that renders them sterile, incapable of giving birth in the future, as a matter of fact fact more than a million women worldwide every single year develop complications due to back alley abortions how do i counter the argument of it's a life the moment the sperm enters the egg bro that is not a real 
argument. That's not a valid argument at all. And if if you want to encounter if you encounter a dumb argument like that in the wild, the question for you is an e the the answer for you is an equally dumb counter argument, which is a hospital's maternal ward is on fire. There's one alive baby crying. One alive baby that is sitting in a crib next to the alive baby is 1,000 fertilized eggs. Do, which one do you save? You only have time to save one. You can either save 1,000 fertilized eggs that are, you know, fertilized in vitro fertilization, or you save the baby. Which one do you choose? You choose the baby. Of course, most conservatives would choose the baby and not the goddamn fertilized eggs it's ridiculous what if they choose the eggs though yeah they're lying that's it anyone who says they would choose the eggs are f lying you know there's not really anything you can do to that person at that point you're talking to a person who's not being honest and so the 1864 law which was always on the books but was essentially just inactive and stayed because roe v wade provided that right constitutionally is now in effect, and that there's nothing on the books in Arizona or the federal law that says it couldn't be in effect. There's nothing to negate it. And so since it existed, it's simply back into effect at this point. So that is the logic of the court. And that's why they say it supersedes what they did in 2022 as a state, which to me sounded like 2022. Well, that would be the will of the people. But because that was contingent on Roe v. Wade. Yeah, I mean, these guys don't have any arguments whatsoever. That's why the whole states' rights argument also doesn't matter. Because, like, then the states go, okay, we don't want this then. And then they go, never mind, we're going to find a different way to still enforce our will upon the population. That's it. This is Starship Troopers. This is not what I saw in the mother training mission. This ain't training no more, baby. Holy You're in this Oh, what the f Carter, God, you walked in front of me. I am scared of no arachnids. Don't say it. Don't say it like that. I've got my cram ration. I know my ABC. Whoa, watch out, soldier. That's for making fun of me because I can read. I'm calling in the napalm. Oh, God damn, this is great. Freedom never sleeps. Huh. <laughs> this game is... Awesome. Democracy, sworn enemy,